Does your kid have night terrors? Our kid suddenly got them. Watch more to find the surprising source of our kid's night terrors. Meet Scarlett. She's been a champion sleeper ever since she was born. But about six months ago, something drastically changed. Was it her teeth? No, it wasn't her teeth. Was it maybe a loud noise that was coming from outside? No, it wasn't that. We thought about gluten and dairy and anything else that we could think of that would be causing her to wake up. But it found out to be something a little bit more simple. Well, not fishy crackers exactly, but a natto, which is what gives the goldfish crackers that nice orange color. And we were really surprised. We first learned about the connection between Anato and Night Terrors from one of our neighbors. They had a kid who, about a year and a half, he was waking up in the middle of the night just screaming and they couldn't figure out why. And somehow they they discovered online the connection between Night Terrors and and Anato. And so when our kid was just over a year, we had a couple of those other scary nights where she'd wake up and screaming and we couldn't figure out what's going on. And we remember this conversation we had with our neighbor. And sure enough, when we were really careful and made sure she didn't have an auto, it worked like a charm. She would not have an auto, and she'd sleep through the night. She'd have an auto, and she'd wake up screaming. It was pretty incredible. Now, the good news is that our neighbor has outgrown his an auto sensitivity, and it appears that our little one is getting better, too. If she had an auto before, you know, she'd wake up for an hour and, and, and just scream. And now if she maybe actually has like a little tiny piece of cheese or one or two fishy crackers, she's okay. But if she has a whole bunch or a whole bunch of cheddar cheese, she's not okay. Now, why isn't there more information about this? So my wife and I have talked quite a bit about this before. And we think it's pretty simple as to why you don't hear more information about it. One is you outgrow it pretty quickly. And two, it'd be really hard to come up with any sort of a natto in any kind of elimination diet. It's not gluten, it's not dairy, it's not some of the things that you would normally connect with a, a food sensitivity. And so it's just really hard to come across. And even if you search something like a natto food allergy or a natto night tears in Google, you won't find anything that looks legitimate. You'll find some things like this and like this, which there's nothing wrong with these. They're just not, you know, WebMD articles or, or scientific research. So It's pretty interesting how you don't hear more about it. All right, so we've talked a lot about what Anato does, but what exactly is it? Well, it's an orange red dye spice or food additive derived from the seeds of the lipstick tree. And it's also called achiote, which can be found in a lot of Mexican and Latin American food. But it isn't something common like gluten or dairy. It's, it's even all natural, and, and there's nothing wrong with those, at least in our opinion, but we even asked our pediatrician if she'd heard of it, and she hadn't, and she went to Yale. And to further complicate things, manufacturers like Kraft are actually putting Anato into their Kraft macaroni and cheese because it's all natural. Now, where will you actually find Anato? Well, we've already talked about the goldfish cracker, but this color is really what you need to look for. Anything that's this bright orange color probably has an auto in it. Some bread has it in it. Some dairy spreads that are alternatives to butter have it in it. In fact, we even found that some butter has it in there, especially things that are butter colored like popcorn. Ice cream, there's a lot of ice cream that has an auto, especially the stuff that looks kind of vanilla-y. And sadly enough, cake pops from Starbucks also have an auto in there. But the thing that started it all, and I'll get back to this in a second, is cheese. A lot of cheddar cheese has annatto. But the good news is you will always find it listed as an ingredient with annatto. Listed. It's usually towards the end because one of the last things there's usually not a whole lot in there, but you will always find it in the ingredients list. At least in the U.S., that's what we found. Okay, so a quick tangent here. Why is cheese orange anyway? Well, let's go to Gloucester, England, where Gloucester cheese is made. Turns out cows in a really high altitude, yes, this is a thing, have a high amount of carotene in the grass, which gave the milk that they were making an orange tint, which was carried through into the cheese. So the orange hue came to be regarded as an indicator of the best cheese, making producers of inferior cheese use a natto to replicate it. So then this custom of adding a natto spread to other parts of the United Kingdom, and then eventually made its way to the cheddar cheese made in Scotland. So there you have it. 
Thank you, Gloucester, England, for keeping my daughter up for hours on end. So why is this even a problem? Well, that's where there's a lot more information to be found. There seems to be one case where someone has suffered anaphylactic reaction to a natto, and they were given an EpiPen and that was okay, but it really seems to be somehow related to a nut allergy. Now, an interesting thing is the lipstick tree stands alone. There's no other plants biologically like that or in its family, and so it could be related to some sort of nut allergy, uh, so so be, keep an eye on that. But no one really knows why this happens. And my personal theory, once again, I am not a doctor. I have no medical qualifications. I can just follow things around on the internet. It, it seems to be somehow related to the, a nut allergy. So just keep that in mind. Uh, another small tip is if, if our kid has accidentally came across an auto, we found out after the fact, it seems like Tylenol does help a little bit. Uh, once again, not a doctor. Do not take this as medical advice, but something to think about. No one knows why a natto causes these problems, but it may be related to a tree nut allergy. So that's the bad news. But here's some good news, is that some companies like Chipotle are calling out the fact that all a natto is, is an artificial coloring. And that's really what it is. Just because something is all natural or organic, does not mean that it's necessarily harmless or it has no side effects whatsoever. We just wanted to create this video to to show you a quick example of something that has made a big impact in our life. And hopefully if you know someone that is suffering with night terrors with their child, please share this with them. We're not trying to become millionaires on, on this information or anything. Our hope is really to help people that are going through them as some of the things that we've gone through as parents. Please share this video, share it with pediatricians, share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We hope this helped you. We hope this maybe solves some mysteries that you're having and, and hopefully gets rid of some night terrors in the world. It's a pretty easy thing to do if you just know it exists. So thank you for listening and have a great day. <laughs>